Next example I will show you is called uh, CDC Lip USB and uh, it's an alternative uh, for uh, CDC VCP. Um, many times uh, we get uh, from our customers uh, complaints about uh, VCP usage and uh, also we can uh, see the rest restriction of uh, this type of communication in our daily job. So, as uh, virtual comport uh, comes uh, from very old uh, comports uh, which are no longer used and it's a full uh, emulation uh, no uh, plug and play if natively supported uh, by this uh, communication interface so for example as you can uh, see the vcp if you uh, disconnect uh, the usb device and let uh, your comport application open you are not uh, able to communicate again with the same com port uh, inside the application because uh, plug and play is not supported there. Uh, second uh, uh, crucial restriction uh, in, which is uh, coming with uh, VCP is the additional um, endpoint which is used by this communication protocol for the interrupt endpoint but uh, almost no communication is on this endpoint and uh, we are uh, able to skip it uh, using different approaches and as some STM32 are quite limited in the number of endpoint uh, for putting uh, VCP into composite device uh, can be quite crucial this one endpoint so as an alternative uh, we are proposing uh, usage of libusb uh, libusb is uh, uh, open source API uh, available on both Windows and uh, Linux. So uh, with this uh, um, driver uh, you can spare the one endpoint because there is only uh, one bulk in, bulk bulk out. Uh, and uh, that also means you don't need to handle the interrupt channel, uh, no signal, uh, no uh, line coding like before so uh, also a bit easier uh, additional advantage is also on the windows side there, there is uh, no additional layer for the uh, vcp and the biggest advantage is the native plug and play support so you will be able to see also in our application that uh, it's working without uh, any problem as you would expect uh, with usb uh, what is uh, the drawback of uh, this approach? Uh, mainly that uh, the offer of uh, terminal application and API is not so bright like with the uh, virtual com port which is uh, quite standard and uh, almost all the programming languages, almost all the uh, types of programs are already prepared uh, to um, uh, connect some com port. And uh, as for the VCP, you need to get your uh, driver signed. So there is uh, no uh, difference with the VCP, only to let you know. So we will start again uh, from uh, QPMX. So we can uh, create almost uh, the same configuration like before for the VCP and then modify to get our functionality. So we have F446 On the nuclear board, uh, first what we need to enable is the more precise uh, clock uh, source So we will bypass the clock source from ST-Link After that we will enable the uh, OTG full speed as device only. In the middleware we will use the communication device class and now we can switch to the clock setting. The STLing clock source is 8 MHz and we want to use it for, as a PL source for our clock in the end.
and that's all about the setting we can uh, generate the project and to use the atolic and uh, again bigger heap size there could be more settings done here in the QPMX, for example, a change of the device descriptor, but uh, I will uh, keep this change on the code to uh, more highlight this change. So, okay, our project is being generated. And open. So first thing we, we will do is to go to the usbd underscore des dot c where device descriptor is uh, saved. So we have here the default option for the product ID. So if we would uh, go with this number, uh, our uh, device would be directly assigned to the virtual com port uh, which uh, is already used on my PC so we need to use some different number uh, for the final product uh, we should get uh, allocated uh, the product ID and vendor ID combination for the product uh, for the testing is more or less fine to have uh, some which is not used so for example uh, C1 zero and uh, we can also rewrite uh, the product string uh, because as uh, the mm, device will be unknown for the PC this is the name it will be displayed so let's put there something else and uh, second thing we want to change here inside of the device descriptor is the device class and subclass as uh, these two numbers are on Windows 10 connected to the uh, VCP functionality using the number 2 and 2 so we will change back to zeros And in next step, uh, we need to change the uh, CDC uh, driver file. Uh, sorry, it's not in the core, it's class. So USBD CDC.C. Uh, I will copy it. So uh, please use the uh, file uh, you have in attachment. There is a bit more change. I will highlight you the changes using the uh, win merge to show you where are the difference and uh, what uh, is done here in the middleware I cut uh, the third endpoint the control one so there is no more the functionality demanding this interrupt endpoint uh, and uh, also uh, to simplify the work for me I use only the full speed uh, configuration descriptor so if you uh, intend to use uh, this example with uh, some different uh, speed than the full speed you will need to complete it later on so only for full speed prepared now and uh, as you can see so high speed is cut and uh, here the control endpoint uh, and uh, the interface connected to this control endpoint is scanned completely and only the bulk endpoints are here so here no interrupt endpoint is opened no interrupt endpoint is closed and in last chance again the descriptors about speed so that's all, all the changes we need to do in the uh, cdc.c driver file and uh, as we uh, change uh, the source file we need also to go into the header file 
by pressing F3, we move uh, through the files inside of Atolic. And here we need to change uh, uh, size of uh, configuration descriptor, which uh, is now lower thanks to the cut of the interrupt endpoint and uh, its interface inside of the descriptor. So only 32 for now. So that is uh, more or less uh, all we need to uh, change uh, and make our device to enumerate itself uh, as uh, uh, the device for the lip USB. Now we want to add also some uh, communication uh, for the demonstration purposes. So we will go again to the interface. Uh, unlike VCP, we won't uh, use here the uh, line coding and uh, we only create the loop uh, in the receive and uh, call, the, call the, the transmit. So like before, we will call CDC transmit with buffer and length so that's all and uh, we can build and uh, run our project So run. So let's take a look inside uh, uh, connected devices on my PC. So I can see that there is the STM32 CDC lip USB, but uh, there is no driver assigned to this device. So now uh, we will use uh, the lip USB files you can uh, find it in attachment of this project and using uh, these files we will install the application which will automatically uh, get for us uh, the driver for uh, this application so uh, let's go to the uh, installation folder of the lip usb here is the int wizard that will guide us uh, through the menu so we need to find among connected device the one which is ours we write the description but at the end it's only about the uh, strings you will able to see uh, find some location for installation of the in file. The in file can be used later on uh, for installing uh, on customer site or another PCs. And uh, here we are done, but also can immediately install our driver. As the driver is not signed, we get the warning from Windows that it's not uh, uh, verified. Uh, we trust this source, so we will install and it's successful. So now already our device is recognized and libUSB driver is assigned to our device. So we may uh, run the application. It's a simple terminal which you can uh, find in the attachments for the test.
So first we start. So now we see our device is connected. And uh, by uh, typing uh, some message. And uh, when we send here on the upper window is displayed the response from the device which should echo. So exactly the same is received. Now if I disconnect the USB, the user USB, uh, the device uh, is, this, uh, is not uh, found by the terminal but uh, it's waiting for it and upon uh, reconnection it's uh, able to find it again and uh, connect and the communication is still working so this is uh, also making a very important difference compared to uh, uh, CDC VCP so at the end, uh, uh, by few simple steps, we can really simplify and make the application more user-friendly for end-user.